So good morning and welcome back to another attempt at this beautiful location for some photography. I had some gremlins yesterday evening and my microphone here, battery was only half charged and the battery went uh, pretty much at the beginning I think of the shoot. When I was reviewing the footage last night I couldn't actually believe what had happened but um, because I had the van I was able to stay around and I've come back here now this morning for another attempt to get some shots. But I've got totally contrasting conditions to what I would have had yesterday. Yesterday I had some nice waves, but they weren't as ferocious as they are right now. And this is the tide actually coming back out. I think overnight we had some pretty strong um, waves because as you would have seen there, some of the sea foam that I had as I was walking through, the water came right back up behind where you are currently. But what I'm doing now at the moment here is going for some moody images. I'm before sunrise, there is not going to be much light unfortunately in the sky so i'm going to go for some moody shots here what i'm doing here is returning to the same rocks the set of rocks that i was at last night but now in completely different conditions i've got no filters on either and i'm able to get a uh, almost a one second exposure um, and what i'm doing is i'm waiting for the water to come in just like right now and then i'm taking that as the water actually retreats back out again and I'm also taking a shot as it comes in as well because you get some lovely movement in the actual frame. Now, this morning as well, I was hopeful that I would have had the uh, light on in the lighthouse. When I arrived here, and because I parked maybe around five minutes away from here overnight, but when I arrived here, I saw the light in the lighthouse was on. I was like, yes, it's on. The moment I walked onto the beach, of course, it went off. Um, so I've taken these first couple of test shots anyway here. I'm now looking out this way here and I can see that there's a nice bit of kind of action in the waves. They're really, really good, which is great. And I might also as well point this direction into the direction of the sun. Uh, I won't say sunrise because it is rising, but it's going to be behind clouds. But I might get a nice bit of subtle color with a bit of reflection as well. So I think what I'll do first of all is I'm going to shoot over in this direction here first. I'll give you a look at these images anyway now. And um, yeah, we'll move over there then and we'll see, can we get another piece or another bite of the cherry, let's just say, for this morning. As you would have seen here, I got a bit wet. The water actually came up over my boots there. There was a couple of strong waves that came in in succession, which were great for the action, but obviously now I've got uh, wet feet. Nonetheless, I think that's all part of being a seascape photographer. If you're not getting wet, you're not a seascape photographer. So I've come over this way here now just to see if I can get a bit of the uh, light that is starting to appear there now in the sky. And what I'm doing is I'm having to put on my um, ND grad um, because I want to make sure that I can contain the sky but also have a long enough exposure here to be able to get the movement as you can see here with the water as the wave as it goes back out. Now also what I'm hopeful for is I get a nice bit of reflection as well um, on the sand that you can see here in front of me. So I'm having now going around 30 mil and with that I'm able to get yeah half a second exposure. And if I take that then with just these two rocks here, I'm putting this one on the left hand side of the frame, this one on the right hand side of the frame. And unfortunately, I can't see any of the 
uh, headland in any of the lights, like I said, because the light isn't on in the lighthouse. But nonetheless, I do think that within this image, again, it's looking nice and stormy and moody and such like that. And as you can see, there's some pretty strong waves that are coming in. I have to be careful of this one now because there's a double one here. So I'm going to move back because that is going to go over my boots, which I was right to do. So I think I'm out of your frame there now. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, lucky I moved uh, in that one because yeah, that would have been a double soaking. And I've already got a welly full of boots anyways, or a boot full of water. Um, so yeah, that's this one anyway here now. I'm going to shoot this direction next. Um, as the sun will come up, hopefully this will light up as well. And I might go up onto the bit of the cliffs that are here as well and try and shoot back down. I don't know if I'm able to get an, uh, an angle or not there yet, but yeah, I'm going to play around here for a moment, just wait till I get the right shot, and then I'll shoot in this direction next. There's some great action in the waves here this morning. As you can see here, pointing out in this direction here, there's some great crashing of the waves that are coming up over these rocks that are there just off the cliffs. And I have gone for a couple of different types of exposures, actually. I've gone for a half a second exposure. I've gone for a one second exposure. And now I'm going to also go for some high speeds as well. So I'm going to probably go for maybe 180th of a second or maybe 150th of a second and just try and freeze the water. I might actually end up going faster as the uh, sun will come up and light up, hopefully, uh, the uh, cliff face that's there. But as you can see, with these waves as they're coming in, there's a, a rock that's right here and they're crashing right over it. It is definitely a difference to what I've experienced here when I was here um, last night. But even right now, I'm delighted that I managed to come back down because this is some great action. I have to obviously always be careful because of these waves that are coming in here. My tripod is pushed right down into the sand. But like what happened to me up in Ackill, when a camera tripod fell over, I still don't understand why, but I'm often to make sure that nothing like that happens again. So yeah, these are the next set of shots that I'm after taking anyway here. I'll give you a look at those now. And then I'm probably going to go up onto the cliff that you see here to shoot back down across this water and then see what kind of action I can get from there.
Now that I'm up on the uh, cliffside, actually, I notice two things. Number one, it's incredibly windy. And number two, there's not really a nice composition from up here. I possibly could get down a bit lower here as it is, but it's a bit, a bit of a trek, I suppose, really, to kind of scramble down the side of the cliff face here. And I don't want to risk anything, obviously, with my back only being newly recovered. Nonetheless, what I have here is I've framed up a shot that I've got this um, cliff face actually starting in the bottom left hand side of the frame kind of sweeping around and then you've got some of these rocks below me here and then a small bit of an interesting rock actually that's in the distance and then a vast expanse of grey nothingness in the sky so what I'm probably going to do here is I'm going to go for a long long exposure maybe I'm going to go up to around about maybe two minutes I'll put on my 10 stop I'll keep my um, 0.9 ND grad on as well that will allow me to get that long exposure and during that time then it will smooth out all the water that's below me here and then just leave these rocks that's the idea anyway behind the shot uh, I don't know if it's going to turn out or not but I'm going to you know press on anyway here and see how I get on with that I'm also probably going to finish up this episode thank you very very much for joining me hope you've enjoyed coming along for the second time to this stunning location in West Cork and if it's the first time on the channel please hit the subscribe button give me a like give me a comment and until the next time and when I dry off my feet schlange full.